Purify siya. Purify. Mm -hmm. Now, Signal Ultra Warriors playing on the blue side this time. It's D sa kanyang Cho. It's Desanya sa kanyang Kadita. It's Yaku sa kanyang Hayabusa. A few on the carry and Eson or Eson Esports. <laughs> Eson Esports. Ating Esports. At sa red side naman, we have Happy Feet Emperor's Crumb para sa Grok, Mr. V para sa Lolita, MB para sa Esmeralda, Tan naman para sa Selena, and RB para sa ating... Uh, Ooh, but he... Early flicker commitment, nakakuha ng isang kill, and this is more than bad para sa ating mid laner para sa Happy Feet Emperor. Sino sila signal to wires, they will even clear up the minion wave into the mid lane, transitioning into the blue buff as easy as that. Perfect rotations and even the first blood. Sulit na sulit para sa Signal Ultra Warriors. At uh, tinimo naman kung gaano talaga ni-utilize nila yung, uh, yung ganitong klaseng playstyle. Yaku! And oh, also with the execute! execute. At Quad Shadow, mukhang makakahuli naman yata din sa isa pa. Nice dodge using the Quad Shadow here. Hindi natama yung kanyang trap. But D, looking for Tan here. Mukhang tatama siya ng oh. Holy Fast. Oh! At nandun din, si, nandun din si Desanya. Para kung saan makatakas pa. Reverse time ginamit nga para kay RB East. Eson, trying to run away, but he will be the casualty para lang makatakas dito si Fiu. 3 to 1 pa rin naman. At least Fiu gets away. Nakakuha pa siya ng crab coin. So, dalawang crab coin. Alam mo na signal auto warriors. Tatlong kills. At dalawang, at isang kill pa dun sa core, which is Yaku. One kill, one assist. Desanya as well, 1-0-1. One, one. This is... Way too good para sa Signal Ultra Warriors. Oh, kat di dito may kita di yung ano yung execute type na hayabusa. Pinakitaan ka agad tayo na kahit yung tank na si Kram is kaya kaya ang patayin as early as one minute. Oh yeah. So sobrang bilis niyan. Kung sa aling kung sa aling mag snowball, well an laki na snowball capability ng hayabusa dito. Kaya iwan mo lang siya magisa. Tapos yung apat yung apat na heroes ng from Signal Ultra Warriors yung gagawa. As an laki pa yung impact. Not only that, may high and dry siya, kaya talaga ang lakas ng damage ni Hayabusa. Wow. This is just the Signal Ultra Warriors showing us a different flavor, kumbaga. At kumuha na nga ng wooden mask doon si Yaku ulit. Mukhang yun na yata yung trend ngayon sa pag-offlane. Oo, at mukhang mga nakap yata si MB. Okay, Desanya, Rough Waves mukhang hindi gaano na use sa full potential nila but that should be enough for them to disengage falling star moon a nice nice dodge from yaku using squad shadows to run away or at least prevent that uh, falling star moon to hit from hitting pero ang happy temper dito they knew na most probably kaya nilang i-take down itong turtle dito but they also have the information they can call the rest of signal ultra wars to contest this turtle oh that's esmeralda try to Take away the signal ultra wires, pero malapit na kay Turtle dito. Oh, playing with a few and kung pa kaya niya, ni Desan yah dito sa kanila double kill para ayako na ako po at nagatat lupa sila. Cram the last remaining member, pero na wave na talaga siya na triple kill ba? Four for one exchange. At kitang kita mo naman tatlo lang ang gumalaw sa signal ultra wires don sa ganong klase ng skirmishes at apat kaya na nakuwani nila. Si Fiu naman at si Eson ay nasa bottom lane again using the time bombs and their well sa kanyang advantage para maklira talaga yung wave habang si Fiu naman is talaga na didish out lang ng structural damage sa bottom lane. Wow, signal ultra warriors, the dominant force, eleven k agad, five k agad yung lamang nila over happy feet emperors getting the crab coin as well. This is just way too much for the Happy Feet Emperors. You have to take note, this is Digin. He has an Iron Mask. And okay, he's just going to be with Yaku forever. Which means that he... I'm sorry, that he's Fiu forever. Which also means that he can farm and farm Fiu no matter what. Because he has a saving factor. He has a funneling. He's like, okay, you have an Iron Mask. Even if he's still with you, Digin, okay, he can get all of the gold. At all of that, meron siyang time's journey if ever talunan nga siya. Katulad ito, di ba? Ang imbes na papatay si Few, si Eson yung tatangkin ng damage, they might even go for more. Nandun si D sa may likuran. Sa likod? Nag-aabang dito. Jit Kundo incoming. Uy, ang ganda po kaka-shoot po doon. Ganda ng shoot po, of course. May damage mo lang. I decided to wave the dragon committed. They take down the Lolita. Easy as that. But that's a signal. Ultra Warsic type journey. Power for Matagas. RP. Exposed talaga ang mapa ng Happy Feet Emperors against Signal Ultra Warriors.
Warriors. Unti unti lang din. And then here comes the second turtle. Disanya. on the bottom lane at exposed na exposed talaga ang mapa ng Happy Feet Emperors against Signal Ultra Warriors unti-unti lang din and then here comes the second turtle Disanya again with the Breath of the Ocean Ocean is sad Audacity and taking another turtle with that retribution skill and not giving them any resources at all. It's gonna be a push for the signal all the wires in the top lane. Ito nga, meron na dito na si Fion, nandito na si Desanya. They also are giving Yaku the bot bottom lane. So, nagkaroon ng paalitan ng lanes uh -huh. dito dahil sabi ng signal ultra warriors kailangan ng lumaban. And they will actually give away itong tier 1 tier sa my bottom lane. In it's reverse time here but Kram able to run away with using his wild charge. Pero mo natama naman yata ang araw ni Tan but he Cannot go in. Okay. Oh, maybe not. But then, mo ang ako pero isa nice knock up from D here, taking down the life of Selena for 23 more seconds. Mo kung dali kalo dito ang Happy Feet Emperors. Unti unti si Pew. Talagang objective lang ko ko nating kay Bigan. Mo nice flicker in and RB decimate using it and also taking down the life of the carry. Pero okay lang yata eh, dahil nakawa silang inhibitor. Dalawang member dito ng Signal Drawers and Boy Final Minimblast na dash dito ng ultimate ni Disanya. Disanya, can he run away? Still in the damage. Nakapakagdang sides at the middle time's journey. Ginamit na lang dito. So walang crowd control. Pero may shutdown pa rin doon sa ating Kadita. At mukhang kukuha pa dito. Abby Fit Embers, they also taken down. The Diggy, hinahabol na dito si D. Gang sa dulo, ahabol ang Happy Feet Emperors. In charge. Kaya ba nila? Naku po, uy! Ayun na, tinak. Holy Star Moon! Ayun yung Stardust Dance will secure that kill. Grabe talaga, mukhang hindi pa patalo ang Happy Feet Emperors. Sabi nila, hindi pa rin kami tapos. Lalaban at lalaban pa rin kami. And this is the right opportunity for Happy Feet Emperors. Oh, Yaku, tinamayin na para dito na Wild Charge and it goes down! Sang mabilis para sa Happy Feet Emperors. Dahil medyo natiso doon si Yaku mm -hmm. dahil sa pana ni Selina. Hindi niya na-anticipate yung ganong klaseng pana plus the wild charge. Walang kakabog-kabog. O sige, nahuli ka agad. Gamit agad natin yung wild charge. No opportunity for uh, this Hayabusa to use his squad shadows. Pero unti-unti, no, umahabot, umahabot pa rin ng Happy Feet Emperors. But looking at the net worth chart, lamang pa rin ng almost uh, 7k net worth lead ang Signal Ultra Wars compared to Happy Feet Emperors with 19,000. Make the 20,000 net worth. It's way too much for Happy Feet Emperors. Eight minutes pa lang. Ganito na ka lakas ang farm ng Signal Ultra Wars. Ganito na sila kayaman. Mm -hmm. It's looking grim and grim para sa Happy Feet Emperors. But again, hindi pa nga tapos ang laban unless makita natin yung base mismo ang sumabog. Indeed. So hindi sa lang pwede maging kampante. Pero dito si T nagdanako oh, na. Bakit nakuha pa niya? Nakuha pa niya? Hindi, hindi niya nakuha si Esmeralda na nakuha MB. But few, again, at least they knew that there's someone inside. Not that I can attempt. Nung ano nung blue buff steel, but unfortunately, hindi nakuwani ni di. Nagyo show ng isang lane of minions na wala dun si yung signal to warriors. Para at least maraming points of entry ang api fit ang signal entry ang api fit ang signal to warriors. Now also have to take note that mask din kasi siya, so kailan din yung mahiwala sa mga teammates niya. Indeed, but eh ano mga yari niyan? Kapag pinush mo yung 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 different lane, mapo force na api fit emperors na magrespond, so mahati sila. Dun yung dun yung pwede mong gawing opening para maginitiate for for the side of signal to warriors. But think about it. It's still a nice defense, though. But the magiging next objective dito ng dalawang team sa atin is yung Lord. And as you can see, si Kari unti unti pumupunta sa Lord area along with the Diggy. So it's a good enough. Okay, apply pressure last in the lane. Pwede natin palabas niyo siyong Happy Feet Emperors. While Kari will try to get the blue buff first and then try to finish siya. Blue buff muna. Tapos chara siya kung wala dito ng ng Lord. Kasi nga naman may malakang bonus na 
damage per sec na, I mean, yung DPS mo overall, uh, can, if you're a marksman getting the buff. But this is gonna be a contest from Happy Feet Devers. However, Eson, Eson Esports, handa dito. Sa patala si Yaku, ang gandang iwas naman nun. Mula kay Kuya Yaku, pero habol ipi yata siya ni Graham. Pero kailangan nila mag-ingat dyan. Eh. Hindi yeah. dapat, ano, kasi naka-execute dyan. Kahit yung tank, kaya kaya nyo patayin after the quad shadows. Oracle naman para kay... Cho. Yeah, yeah, Cho. So, uh, again, that sh uh, Shunpo is mas mataas ang mga kuwa niya uh, shield gain from that. At syempre, more sustainability and also magic reduction. So, uh, Happy Feet Emperors, they really need to, uh, to, to play defensively right now since the Lord is already marching in on the top lane. Kailangan nila i-defend. Kapag umangat na yan, malawit sa tier 2 turret, or kung saan nakalagay yung tier 2 turret ng Happy Feet Emperors, kailangan nila nila mag-react. Yeah, yeah, as soon as possible. Dyan, bakit isa lang pag-react ng tama. Mm -hmm. Pero ito na, lahat ng lanes pinupush dito ng Signal Ultra Wires. Hingit na yung kanilang target dito. Tumaba yung stun. Hindi, D wants to go for more. Pata pullback onto their Patay na, ina. May way Pinore. to drive na ginamit dito. Pero yung torrent wow, pa yung target. Napatay pa yung drop. Grabe, sobrang lakas ang damage nila doon. And in fact, napatay pa nila yung torrent. Numi Numblas, kinasa. Pero mama out. Sa may time journey, sakong-sako. Walang nagawa ang Numi Numblas. And Signal Ultra Warriors knocking na ngayon Hindi sa na base hati. ng Happy Feet Emperors. Hindi natin kung makakarepel ba. Happy Feet Emperors eh, popping the ultimate. Oh, mukhang hindi pa ito makakapasok. And damage! Oh, oh, oh. Tamantagan ni Yaku with the shadow Patay. kill. At si D will able GG. to help uh, well, the carry to take down another kill Pinapos here. Hindi talaga, na makakontest. Again, they're able to isolate the rest of Happy Feet Emperors. At nag-free hit lang yung Lord dun sa top lane. At again, a nice fast sweep kill for Signal Ultra Warriors taking out the series with a 2-0 against Heavy Feet Emperor.